Hello again. I got an email asking about circuiting up uh, electrical equipment and you know, how you would assign a circuit to a, a receptacle. And uh, for the person who was asking the question via email, uh, it wasn't seeming very obvious. So I thought I'd just do a quick video and discuss it, although there's plenty of places that sort of do this anyway. But um, <clears throat> to start with, you, you got you to gotta create uh, circuits by starting with uh, equipment, obviously. And it helps if you start off with the supply equipment and you define what kind of power systems that they're supposed to be using. So for example, uh, if I select the MDB panel, uh, the distribution system that's available to it is a 480-277Y. <clears throat> and those are all created and managed in the electrical settings of your template. And then for the power panel, I can assign a voltage system of 120-20-208. And for the transformer, I can assign the primary to 480 and they don't provide the access to secondary here on the options bar. So you're going to have to go over to the, the uh, transformer's properties and look at the secondary distribution and assign it to one that's appropriate. <clears throat> With the voltages assigned to the supply equipment, uh, you're going to be able to assign them as panels to other elements. And so in this case, I've got a receptacle. And when you select a receptacle that isn't part of a circuit already, you'll find that it'll generate a, a power circuit button and on the create systems panel if you find that it doesn't offer you that it's already part of a, a circuit so if i click on this revit will activate the electrical circuits ribbon and if i just bail out of that if i come back and click on this thing later it doesn't offer me the button to create a circuit it's offering me the ribbon lurking in the background here to create a circuit for it secondarily <coughs> so now i can edit that circuit if i want to add i can hit edit circuit and then notice add to circuit is already highlighted so then I can add additional devices and add them to a circuit and I can choose select panel which allows me to reach over and grab a panel graphically or choose a panel from the list and I have to be able to know which one I want in this case <coughs> but I do this and then finish again into the circuit if I hover over a single element and tab Revit will give me a bounding box around the, the related equipment so I can get a quick sense of how they're related to each other and if they are and then I even have an option to toggle on some wiring if necessary. Um, although some people don't do a lot of wiring, they just use tags and so forth. It, it comes down to personal preference. Now, if I come back over to this device, I could potentially just grab all three of those, create a power circuit for it, and immediately go to select panel, go back and assign the same panel. <coughs> now the panel itself, when I select it, I have an option to create a panel schedule and in the new templates, use the defaults. Uh, template. What it, Revit's going to do is as you create circuits for objects and then assign them to panels, it's just going to start dumping them on the panel one, two, three, four, etc. Now if you're not happy with that arrangement then it's really up to you to take the circuit and you know, move it down to a different location, move it across to another spot so they get put on the right circuit, the one you prefer. <coughs> and then there's options to put spares and spaces in and lock them in place and manage the panel in that regard. Now, if I go back to the panel, um, I'm running up, coming close on my five minutes here. I'm a little over three minutes, so quickly. This panel here is a parent to these children. This panel is also a child, potentially, to another parent. In this case, the transformer, because it's getting power from T1. So if I create a circuit for it, then the expectation is I'm going to select a panel, which in this case would be the transformer. <coughs> and then the same thing is true for the transformer. It's a child to a parent, so where does it get its power from? So I create a power circuit for it, and then select its panel and work my way up to the MDP. Once I've done that, then I can create a schedule for each of these devices. I can show the loads that are on each of the devices, and they start working together. But fundamentally, the circuit for this thing is defined by the relationship to its panel. And you start by selecting it, creating a circuit, and then assigning its panel, and then Revit manages the circuits that you've created in the panel schedule after that. If you don't like that, you can remove and dis disable circuits and so forth. <coughs> in fact, um, if you want to be able to kill a, a circuit at some point later, then you can go into the system browser and grab a circuit under PP1, for example. This circuit can be deleted, which doesn't delete the elements, it deletes the circuit that it's associated with. So that's all I got time for. Over and out.